Hey, this is Mike Angelo. I'm here to explain to you today what quantizing is in Logic Pro 10 and how to use it. So, first of all, you have two types of quantizing in Logic Pro 10. That's quantizing for timing, and you can also quantize the scale that you're in. Now, let's start off with timing, putting things on beat after you've played them a few or a little offbeat when you laid them down at first. So I'm going to go ahead and record a um, little loop, and then I'll be a little offbeat naturally, and I'll put it back on for you guys to demonstrate. So uh, see this keyboard on my screen? I do. I press Command K. That brings that up. And if you don't have like an external keyboard plugged into your computer you could just use your keyboard on your laptop and uh, that's really convenient for your producer on the go so I'm gonna lay something down real quick Okay, you get the idea. That was pretty basic. So now, I'm going to quantize this. So, I select my track. You have to have the track you're using selected. I select that. You go to the top left. Make sure the I button on the top, top left is lit up and clicked. So, if you go to quantize with the track selected, you can then quantize it. So, I'm going to click. You can do them all the way up to 64th notes. That's the accuracy. So, I'm going to do 16th notes and I'll just play this real quick for you okay let's see if we can add a little swing so down below the regular selections you could do you see swing and what swing is is just a little variation in uh, how you played it and the timing of how you played it maybe to make it sound a little more realistic but let's add, let's see if this does anything. Doesn't look like it did anything. But I think it's because we have eighth notes, maybe? Let's try it now. Yeah, there we go. So I put it on eighth note swing F. F is the strongest, A is the most subtle. So let's see what it did to this. Okay, yeah, I actually like that a little bit. So see what it did is just add a whole new bounce to what I just played in there. And then if you press P with that region selected, it'll bring you to your piano view. And you can also, what I want to emphasize to you is that you can also quantize just two notes. The timing of just two notes. Say I just select these two in the middle. What if I want these exactly on sixteenths? and not swung like that. So then it would be... So yeah, maybe it adds a little different vibe to your stuff. And uh, another thing is the scale quantizing, the musical scale. So I'm gonna select everything and we're gonna put, everything, put these two bars in a whole another scale. So let's go to natural minor and you know we'll just say D natural minor. Oh, all those notes stay the same. We'll switch it up to C sharp natural minor. It's kind of eerie. <laughs> I don't know, you can come up with some cool stuff. Or, you know, ideally you only messed up a little bit and you want to just get your couple of off notes in the scale you're in. But it is an, a little cheap for anybody who's making music. So I hope you guys learned a little bit of something about quantizing today. Uh, be sure to check out my website, whynotondemand.com, for cool new tutorials 
and other cool videos with jam it's jam packed with crazy content uh, also follow me and my website on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com backslash why not on demand and subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com backslash why not on demand and yeah share comment ask any questions I will reply and uh, I'll be back with more tutorials in the near future thank you